1869, Dmitry Mendeleev could see that properties of elements vary periodically. As atomic number increases, the properties repeat in a soothing rhythmic pattern that can form a funky beat. The elements we know about, they number 114. Some in quantities so small that they've never been seen. Most are common elements that are far and wide dispersed, but all of them together make up all the universe. Elements in group one are called the alkalis. They explode in water and are a very tiny size. They love to lose electrons when they form a bond. Of these reactive atoms, I can say I'm rather fond. Group two elements are often called alkaline earth. Calcium's been building bones since well before your birth. They form nice plus two ions and are generally quite fun, though they're not quite as reactive as the metals in group one. Since 1869, every one of us could see that properties of elements vary periodically. As atomic number increases, the properties repeat in a soothing rhythmic pattern that can form a funky beat. Metals in groups 3 through 12 transition elements. Some of them are lightweight and others really dense. Things they have in common, they form charges two or more. And some form colored compounds, which is something we adore. If you want an element, just tell me once again. If it's in group 17, you've got a halogen. Now metals so corrosive, they're not found in their pure state. They can gain electrons like they're going out of date. Got one for you in group 18, it's known as noble gas. If you're looking for an element that just sits there on its If you wonder why and haven't figured it out yet, their valence configuration is a big stable octet. So now it should be obvious that everyone should see that properties of elements vary periodically. As atomic number increases, the properties repeat in a soothing rhythmic pattern that can form a 